Hey coach, are your dancers struggling with their skill consistency at the end of the routine? Like everything looks really good for the first half, maybe even going into the last quarter, but right at the end, everything sort of falls apart. If so, I want you to do these three exercises in your next warm up, and then I want you to do them at the end of practice as well. If you can do this, I want you to run your routine, and when your dancers get through the whole routine, Give them a quick water break and then have them come back and do these three exercises. They are designed to help your dancers engage their core, their back, and their glutes. With these three major muscle groups, your dancers will be able to hold their body with more strength, move through their skills with more consistency. And when you do them at the end of your practice, your dancers are challenged while already tired to engage those muscles. These are three major movers in all of your dancer skills. So if they can learn how to really think about engaging them when they're already tired, you'll notice that their skills will be improving throughout the entire routine. So go ahead and try these out. I recommend that you do all three of these exercises for 30 to 40 seconds, whether you're doing it at the beginning of class, the end of class, or right after you do your routine. First one we're gonna do is for your glutes. This is a super glute lift. If you have an athletic band available, that would be a great thing to throw around your ankles. A light or medium band is gonna be the best option for your dancers. So go ahead and throw them around the ankles. Your dancers will lay on their stomach, turn out their legs. You're going to have them lift their legs up into a V shape. Close the heels together, open the legs again, feel that resistance against the, against the band, and then they'll drop. So they'll lift, close, open, drop, lift, close, open, drop. This one you can probably get away with for about 40 seconds because they'll be catching their breath, especially after you just ran the routine. And you'll feel this if you're trying it yourself. You will feel the engagement in the glutes, super isolated. So that's exercise. Number one. The second exercise I want your dancers to do is gonna be for core. It's gonna get some hips involved, which is gonna help support the glutes, and then back as well. They're gonna hover. So they're gonna come on all hands, or on their hands and knees, tuck their toes under, and lift their knees just an inch. Have them bend their elbows slightly. Hold this for just a second. Then they're gonna go into the up-down portion. This gets the back involved. Down, up, down, up. Let your dancers know the slower they do this, the easier it's gonna be so that their hips don't start shaking around. The more they start shaking their booty, the harder it's gonna be for them. So that's exercise number two. The third exercise I want your dancers to do is super isolating for the core, but again, we get some of that hip involved. Our hips are gonna help us stay in high posse. They're gonna help with power for kicking. They're just overall a really good team player. So this next exercise, again, 30 to 40 seconds, Knees come into a 90 degree angle. Extend one leg, hold, pull it back in. I love this one because it allows us to really isolate the core, but then again, letting our legs move freely. Just like when our dancers need to do Alice Combs or jumping or leaping or transitions, we want the core to be nice and solid, but we want our legs to be able to move with power and freely. This core exercise gives your dancers the ability to isolate while practicing that skill. We'll do three more here, three. <laughs> Keep their hips tucked under and make sure that that belly button's pulled into the spine. If your dancers start doing this exercise and their low back starts rolling off the floor, they can just tap their toes instead. So there you have my three favorite exercises to help your dancers improve their consistency of skills throughout the entire routine. Down below, I have a free training plan for increased turn consistency. You can go ahead and grab that. If turns are something that tend to fall apart at the end of your routine, grab that training plan, try it out in your next practice. Don't forget to like and subscribe this channel. And remember that at dancerfitness.com, we have an exercise for that.